watch the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday morning, the 13th of November. I'm James Spann. We're dry through the weekend and some of the coldest air so far this season rolling in here tonight. Uh, next week looks active, especially west of Alabama. Here we go. Water vapor satellite view. Got a very dry air mass in place. The trough that delivered that is lifting to the north. Starting off this day in the 40s, Birmingham at 43. Fort Payne, though, they've got 37. And uh, we're expecting a lot of frost early tomorrow morning. That's the big picture. We got frost and freeze advisories from Oklahoma over into North Alabama, North Mississippi, and Tennessee. Here's a closer look at what the Weather Service has for us. A freeze warning tomorrow morning along and north of U.S. 278, north of a line from Hamilton to Cullman to Gadsden, a frost advisory down to Interstate 20, and that includes Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, and Anniston. As uh, lows will dip down uh, well into the 30s, colder pockets go in the 20s tomorrow morning. Next week, we'll be watching a dynamic storm system uh, bringing severe weather possibilities west of Alabama. This is the day four outlook for Monday. A risk of severe weather over a pretty good chunk of Texas and parts of Oklahoma. Then on day five, which is Tuesday, a severe weather risk again west of the state. No risk defined for Alabama next week, and that's probably a, a good call. Temperatures for the next five days valid through Wednesday morning. The bigger numbers centered over Arkansas. Then the seven-day valid through Friday morning of next week, suggesting rain amounts in our state between one and two inches for most spots. All right, let's take a look at the dailies here. We'll walk you through this. This is today at noon off the GFS, the 06Z run, troughing to the north. It's a dry air mass. What a beautiful day today, sunny with a high in the low 60s. Tomorrow, brilliant sunshine. We start the day down in the low to mid 30s. The high will be around 60. Should be hard to find a decent cloud in the sky. Pretty much the same thing on Sunday. We start the day in the 30s. The high will be in the low 60s. Glorious weather for football. Anything else you want to do this weekend? Cold nights, a fairly comfortable afternoon tomorrow and Sunday. Now, Monday, here comes our storm to the west. Big time snows over the Rocky Mountains. I mean, big snows if this verifies, and I think it will. Uh, rain breaks out west of the state, Arkansas, Louisiana, eastern Texas, but we're still dry on Monday. Monday's high will be in the upper 60s, and this is Tuesday. That surface low is over Kansas, and again, big snows in the cold air west of the surface low, big rains south and east of there, and there could be some severe weather uh, east of Interstate 35 in Texas and Oklahoma, maybe Arkansas, Louisiana, but really, we're still dry if this is right. Tuesday, any showers would be Hard to find, mild, breezy. We get up in the middle, 70s. This is Wednesday. There's the upper feature, and you can see the big trough pretty far to the west, and a 588 ridge is in place over the southeast United States, kind of keeping all of that west of here. And Wednesday, there could be a few showers, but really the organized rain stays west. And then finally, Thursday, the main batch of rain and storms moves in here with a surface low that's up over Minnesota. And a pretty good chance we'll be in the 70s the middle part of next week with that uh, upper high. But this is not a severe weather look. Uh, with the upper high kind of shunning the main dynamics well to the west and north. And this should also keep the heaviest rain west of the state. But no doubt that could be a pretty good rain on Thursday of next week. Thought we'd check the uh, European solution. This is Wednesday night at midnight. And it's got the main batch of showers and st storms coming through. And again, the main surface low way north. Some good rain there, but that's not a severe weather look. This is a week from today, Friday the 20th. And again, uh, you can see how we've still got kind of a flat ridge down here. The showers are exiting the state. And we turn cooler, but nothing harshly cold. Here's the end of the forecast. This is Sunday the 22nd. Kind of a zonal flow across the southern states. And again, that looks maybe like a few showers over the southern part of the state and some colder air to the north. Temperatures for the next 15 days, uh, the ensembles have us reaching 70 by the middle of next week. I think it's going to be warmer than that. Uh, we'll probably do low and mid-70s with the upper ridge. And then highs go in the 50s and lows around 40 later in the month out toward Thanksgiving. But uh, no sign of any really you know big-time Arctic air. And we've talked about this El Nino winter. Typically, they're wet, stormy, relatively mild. And sure, you get cold air shots from time to time, but they tend to be kind of shallow. That is it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.